these are the notes that I put together after going through the kinetics slash equilibrium questions from the 2015 chemistry regents exams. More words to add to your vocabulary list. Make sure you know them forwards and backwards. They do show up a lot of times, especially on the multiple choice section of the test. Very important fact here you need to know this shows up a lot. Remember what's equal at equilibrium is the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction and the concentrations of reactants and products are constant. I can't stress enough how this statement shows up a lot on the Regents exam either on the multiple choice or on the second half of the exam. Also other things, skills that you need to be able to do. Now there were, I think there was one maybe, yeah, two questions about potential energy diagrams on the 2015 multiple choice questions. One had to do with heat of reaction and the other one had to do with what if, how the catalyst affected the diagram. But there's other information that you need to know with those PE diagrams which I have here. Finding activation energies of the forward or reverse, potential energy of reactants, products, or activated complex. I'm sure you went over this with your teacher. Make sure you go over it. The other point here, determine the difference between the types of equilibrium and how equilibrium is reached in order to have, for example, a phase change equilibrium for a gas, it has to be a closed system, right, Bet let's say between a liquid and a gas, and um, something like a solution equilibrium, you need a saturated solution, so make sure you go over your notes and things for that as well, and then of course, how a stress changes the equilibrium, that's Le Chatelier's principle, I'm sure it's something that you went over with your teacher, there were a few questions in 2015, when the system's at equilibrium, you put a stress on that system, how it changes, um, how the equilibrium changes as a result of that stress. Make up your notes. The best thing you can do is do it yourself. That's why I've only listed vocabulary terms here and given you some place to go to take a look, because when you do it, then you're going to remember it. If you're given it, you might not remember it. Just keep working hard and good luck.